Over the weekend, there were a lot of speculations and rumors about what is going on with Credit Suisse because it's one of the biggest bank in the whole world. But this Monday, this Monday morning, the truth finally came out. And if you hold AMC stock and Ape stock, you want to make sure you watch this video until the end because it's very, very, very juicy for us as we look into you know, the molest, the murder of all short squeezes. So we're going to look over exactly what is going on and how does it impact CMC stock and the short squeeze and, you know, what is the timeline around that, all right? Now, getting into the first item here, what is going on? Well, Credit Suisse is in big trouble. That's the least we can say <laughs> for now, all right? This is one of the 30 global, the top 30 global systematically, you know, systematic, systemically <laughs> important banks in the world. What does it mean? It means that this is a bank so big that if something happens, for some reason, they're not able to sustain their operations. They can pretty much cause something that we saw back in 2008 with the financial crisis. What the, that was one of the biggest after the 1929 crisis that the world has ever known. All right. So, to, to kind of, you know, shorten things and to make everything simple for you to understand, Credit Suisse, because of the, you know, the 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 the, the, the its size and, you know, the fact that it's such a such of a big bank, people are starting to make kind of, you know, bets that, hey, this might be the tip of the iceberg of something, you know, similar to 2008 with Lehman Brothers, all right? So, Lehman Brothers was another big bank, too big to fail, but actually did fail and caused the financial crisis that we saw in 2008. Now, the rumors are swirling around Credit Suisse ahead of the bank's quarterly update that's going to come, you know, in uh, at the end of October. Remember, we just started Q4 and earnings season is going to kick off in just a moment here. So when they actually release earnings, the CEO has an announcement to make. And the announcement is around, you know, strategic review. Usually when a company says that, it means that they're going to either announce huge layoffs or, you know, things that will actually push them to save cost because when you look at the deep i mean the balance sheet and you know some of the you know company statements all right the earning statement you know the, the debt to ratio statement etc cetera, etc cetera. you look at the financial documents all right um, um it kind of makes sense that hey what is going on is the fact that this company has been deeply 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 impacted for the last two years on scandals the last one to date is the Archigo scandal. You know, remember Archigo scandal? Hedge fund here in the U.S. was leveraged the eyeballs, was, you know, went into debt to, you know, its eyeballs. And Credit Suisse was kind of backing his, this hedge fund as, you know, his liquidity provider or, you know, uh, 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 just, just the bank. All right. But because that blew up, all right, Archigos went down. Credit Suisse also took a huge hit, a, it took a huge loss. And because of that, top executives were fired, all right? Now, because they lost that money, based on what the market has currently been doing since the beginning of this year, financial companies or investment firms are not at the best they used to be. Why? Because... Because of the market being down, less money flowing to the market, meaning less people are trading, meaning less people are investing. And as a result, your, your revenues as the investment banks or wealth management banks is also decreasing. That is exactly what is happening with Credit Suisse. But on top of that, they used to hire a lot of people and they were paying them really, really well. As a matter of fact, when you look at what Mid Kevin shared with us uh, on his video covering this topic, you know, he actually look at those financial statements and you know they, they were showing that this bank is ex i mean spending a lot more money than what is coming in so they are spending money like there's no tomorrow trying to keep up with you know the staffing in order to boost the business but the market is not really turning so they're losing money at every 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 angle on top of that, the clients are also losing money. And when clients lose money, what happens? They take money out and they go somewhere else or they park it into bonds, all right? Which is exactly what is happening in this current market situation and environment. That's why Credit Suisse is in big trouble. But the biggest thing is, on top of everything else, not making money, spending a ton of money, they have to pay a huge debt and they don't have any cash on hand. 
they don't have any cash on hand. So it's pretty much a company on the brink of either they do something drastic or they will be dead. And if Credit Suisse is dead, and that leads us to the second point here with how does it tie to you holding EMC stock? Well, this might be the tip of the iceberg of maybe a contagion effect, a domino effect, which is really what we need to see for AMC to start going back to where it's supposed to be. Credit Suisse, according to Stephen Cooper, isn't the only bank to be concerned about. Multiple banks showing similar reports. Dominoes, dominoes, and dominoes. It's going to be an interesting week. And we also have this. This is really where we need to pay attention, guys. Credit Suisse used to be one of the biggest shorts seller of EMC stock. This is a screenshot of, you know, an ATS, alternative trading system data. In other words, a DARPO system, all right? And you can see here, cross, cross finder, which is the platform behind Credit Suisse, or, you know, Credit Suisse is behind this platform. And you can see here, we have about 550,000 shares shorted as of September 26. So <clears throat> if Credit Suisse is going down, and they have, or, or they're among the biggest short sellers on AMC, it means that, well, all of these shorts will then evaporate because they cannot just hold these positions because they need to make sure they raise cash because they don't have any cash. If they want to survive, they will need to, you know, do something drastic, which could ultimately lead to closing the short position. And can you imagine the amount of buying pressure coming out of it? It's going to be mind-blowing. Now, if we go back to this, information. If this is a domino effect or if other banks are among this or no, and this is where it gets really interesting, is the fact that other banks don't even have to be also in the same situation, which I don't believe, all right? Now, what is really interesting is the domino effect we need to see happening here is the fact that we only need one. We only need one of the big short to start falling because they're a little uh, the little other, you know, funds, other firms that have maybe 500 shares, 2,000 shares, 10,000 shares, 100,000 top. If these guys go down, it will create a wave and everybody on the other side will catch the wave. Those who are not strong enough will definitely have to also be caught on the wave and get out and jump ship. But this current market makes it easy for that to happen because everybody is striving for liquidity. It's not as easy as it used to be because of interest rate rising and everything. So there are pretty much good chances that we might see that happening. Now, what's the timeline around that? Well, nobody knows because we have to wait until October to start seeing things happening. But it doesn't mean that AMC cannot start running before the end of this month, all right? Because this can actually scare some of the little funds that are also short that don't want to wait for this to be actually a reality and happening in AMC short in order to start covering. So I'm expecting things to maybe, you know, start boiling up on this front. But as always, no expectations here because you can just time these type of things. All right. So it's just another way, another reason to be a lot more hopeful and you know, continue to hold a little bit tighter if you still believe AMC is the mother of all short squeezes, which I'm the camp of the believer. So, yeah, juicy, folks. Very juicy.